Here's a practice question on transcribing DNA. Now this is from 1B page 27. Very, very common question. You're gonna do this many times in your quizzes and your exams and hopefully in the package we've given you enough, in the student package, hopefully we've given you enough uh, practice on this so when you get to that uh, test environment, you're gonna be comfortable with these type of questions. So let's do a couple of them here. It says a geneticist isolated a stranded DNA containing the following nucleotides. So first of all, we do know this is DNA, right? Because it has thymine in it. Now, sometimes they're just gonna give you a strand and you don't know what you have, but you're gonna look for those type of clues to determine uh, what it is that they're giving you. They're making sure that they're not giving you messenger RNA. Uh, if they are giving you messenger RNA, then nothing to transcribe. Just go look it up in your messenger RNA library of codons. Uh, but in this case, it is DNA, and they did tell you that, but I just wanted to kind of recognize that, uh, or how to get, allow you to recognize that it is DNA by thymine being present in that sequence of nucleotides. And then they're asking, what is the amino acid sequence from this polypeptides produced with this DNA strand? So we know that we just said this is DNA. Everything, because your library is a messenger RNA library of codons in there, uh, and their corresponding amino acids. What we must do is transcribe this into messenger RNA before we can determine what the amino acids are going to be. That's in the library, but it's a messenger RNA library. So that's what we have to do. So we know that messenger RNA, when we're building messenger RNA, and of course that's called transcription, happens in the nucleus. What it does, it actually uh, free floating RNA nucleotides will bind to that sense strand of DNA and uh, they will bind complementary. So that means that T will always bind with A and there is A in messenger RNA. Now this is where it gets confusing for some students. I always do this in my head so I don't get confused. A always binds with T but with messenger RNA U takes the place of thymine. C always binds with guanine. And uh, I'm gonna stop there because we know that three consecutive nucleotides in messenger RNA, actually in DNA as well, but in messenger RNA, we know that this is called a codon. And again, this is what we're gonna go look up in our messenger RNA library. Um, You've seen how, if you have any issues with that, give me an email, but I'm gonna take it uh, for granted that you know how to use that library. But again, you're gonna go find your A as your first base, go uh, to the top and look for you. Where those two intersect, you're gonna find a little box with uh, some different codons in it, messenger RNA codons, but you're gonna go find your AUG. And when you do, you find out that that particular amino acid is met. Okay, we'll just give the abbreviated form because uh, uh, of course some of these are very difficult to pronounce. Now we'll go on to the next three and we're going to transcribe that into messenger RNA. So we have G always pairs with C, G pairs with C, T always pairs with A. Okay, and again that's where people seem to make lots of mistakes. Uh, sometimes they'll put a U in there. No, there is adenine present in messenger RNA. Okay, and I'm going to do them all really quickly and then we'll break them up to threes. C always binds with G. A always binds with T, but U takes its place. Say that to yourself when you're transcribing. C always binds with G. Okay, so again, these are codons. So we'll keep going here. A always binds with um, T, but U takes its place. T always binds with A, and G always binds with C. So there's that codon. And then the last codon, A always binds with T, but U takes its place. Okay, uh, I'm, T always binds with A, and T always binds with A. Getting a little messy, but you get the gist of it. So those are all codons. Now, and only then, once we have messenger RNA, can we go look in our library and code uh, for what amino acid those messenger RNA codons are associated with. 
So uh, CCA, if we go take a look, that should be proline. GUG, go take a look in your messenger RNA library and that should code for valine. UAC should be thyrosine and UAA is a stop codon. And again, that stop codon signals that you've got, now completed all the amino acids. The amino or the protein or the polypeptide now will be snipped and it will then conform into its shape. But uh, that is your answers for the amino acids that will be coded from that DNA blueprint. Okay, any questions, give me an email. We'll go over it because like I say, you'll see lots of questions on your uh, unit exam and your, uh, your final. Okay, thanks.